Hello everyone, my name is Xandarius, and I am back in another Magic Arena video. This time, I have right in front of me a uh, horn full of wine. I'm pretty well sloshed as it is, but today I am going to do the only thing that I can do after such an embarrassing uh, two videos full of just pain and suffering. I'm going to do the only thing that might only be semi-physically possible for me, and that is to play 25 lands. That is the goal of this video. That is the only thing I can trust myself with being capable with. So today, I'm going to play whatever the heck deck I want to play. And my goal, the win of this video, is if I can actually manage to play 25 lands. Because... Anything else apparently is expecting too much. Don't expect any wins in this video. But while I'm on this deck choosing screen, um, comment down below if you want to see any of these decks played. I'd be more than happy to play any of them for you. So, without further ado, let me pick a deck and let's go into it. We are going to start off with... Ooh, let's see. Let's start off with uh, my Bloodburn. I forget if I have this fully updated or not, but we're going to play it and see how well it does. Um, I'm very thankful for the fact that I have a full, literal horn full of wine. And, uh, you know, I'm going to take a sip here and we're going to get going. Hopefully this thing finds us an opponent soon. Because otherwise, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I I am defeated. It is the end of the uploads this week. And we're already taking a mulligan, which is wonderful. More land on top doesn't seem like a bad thing. I could flood out, and I expect to flood out, but whatever. We're going to do it, right? We're going to do it. We have a shock, we have a fireblade artist, we have stuff. I don't know. It does things. What? Counter it unless I pay one. Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, like what what is this? Are are you serious? Uh alright. We'll be on the uh, more aggressive gameplay with the Fireblade Artist then. So all my spells that target the opponent are going to... Oh, hello Drowned Secrets. And hello Siren Storm Tamer. Well. I can definitely shock the Siren Storm Tamer this turn. I'll have to pay one extra to do so. Right? Oh, no, I don't have to. I'm an idiot. If they live with one life, it's my fault. But, you know, at this point, I, ju I just gotta play lands. I've I almost forgot. That is my one objective. I just need to play lands. And they're just, they're milling me here. That's a cool inclusion. That gets around uh, Mono Red very well. Alright. I do not want to fling my thing at you. That sounds terrible out of context. Um, let's attack. Get that spectacle enabled. And then we'll do this. Target them. And then I need to pay one. Or else it's countered. And then uh, I'll end the turn because I can't skewer the critics because I need two mana. I need two mana to skewer their face. They're at 10 life, though. We're doing stuff. All right. We'll play the land, because that, that's our objective this game. We don't need to kill them. We just need to play lands. Are there any other lands that we can look at playing next turn? There's one. We're going to skewer their face. That's going to do a thing. I think I need to resolve it first. Pay one. There you go. And then they're dead. 
Congratulations. Um, good game, opponent. Look at that. Not only am I playing lands like an absolute boss, but I actually won a game. I broke my losing streak of God knows how many games. All right, Bloodburn was fun. Let's see if we can do things with Merfolk, because that's what people do. People do things with Merfolk. All right. Maybe I should try playing that Golgari deck again, huh? What do you think? Oh, I'd like to mention that after losing all those games of the Golgari deck, I stayed up and played another five games, mainly to knock out missions and get gold, and towards the end it was for fun. I won every single game I played after that video. Which, you know, that's cool. That's super cool. I'm not I'm not I'm not salty. What are you talking about? You're salty, not me. Alright. We have an interesting curve here. They are probably holding up a cast down. So we'll reveal one of my Kumenas. Draw our card and attack. So they're probably going to hold up their kill spell for this. But little do they know I am going to um, delay playing it as much as possible because I'm an evil person. There you go. I'm playing lands every turn, so you know we're still meeting that goal. They're taking lots of damage. We're drawing lots of cards. We're we're doing great. We're doing great here. Great things are being done on my channel. Um, next turn we'll have four lands. And then we'll need to draw more lands to meet our quota. There we go. Are they at 14? Six would be pretty, uh, pretty terrible. It'd be pretty terrible if they took six more damage. It'd be such a shame if they conceded here. Especially with playing the Mistbinder next turn. And if we draw a land, then whoa. We're, we're getting two things done. We're getting two things done at once. Oh, look at that. Alright, I'll play this. We'll go wide on the board and play some Merfolk. And then we'll play this and totally wreck their life. Go. Go forth, my minions. What does this even do? Sack a creature, draw a card. Well, that's dead. And uh, unless you can board wipe me... I think that's the end of the story. Um, <laughs> look at that! I'm not even I'm not even trying. I'm not even playing good decks and I'm winning. Look at that. That's all I need to do. Just play 25 lands and bam, you got yourself a video with with wins. We're meeting two objectives here. We're we're meeting the lands and we're we're meeting the winning. So, yeah, I'm totally not salty. Um, if any of you are wondering if this is going to keep continuing, my level salt and whatnot, no, I just, I'm just sad. It's not going to continue. Next week will be fun things that is not depressing, and it'll be fun. And there we go, we win. We win. Another game is won. Another game's ours, and we're going to go in with the Gol... Yes, I renamed the deck to Golgari Garbage, because I'm that deeply scarred in my soul. I am so deeply scarred. By the way, two of the five games I won last night after the terrible recording was against Mono Red. I won two games against Mono Red with the non-life gain version of the deck. So, you know, yeah, you know that doesn't say anything at all, no. It's, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It happened off screen. Maybe if I actually win this game, I'll feel better about stuff. Um, this hand's kind of garbage, but I'll keep it. Sure, we're gonna do that. Playing against some sort of gruel fool here, the like green red. Do they show a third color? They do. They show the white. So if we get a swamp here, we're an absolute baller because that means we're gonna be hitting. Our goal of... I don't know. I should have left that on top. Because that explores twice. It goes even deeper. Oh, we're playing a Gates deck. 
with the rhythm of the wild. And here we go. Not getting what we need. Hooray! I didn't want to play anything this turn. I should have kept the Jade Light, then I could have put the Stitcher on the bottom, and then if our next card is a land, then I would have been doing really good. Our opponent already has a Ram. That's a 4-4 with haste. I mean, I don't know what to do at this point. Just concede. I mean, this deck is garbage. This deck's garbage. I don't know. I don't know why I have it. Um, let's play a deck I haven't played in a long time. Let's go in here. And where the hell am I? All right. Um, all the way at the bottom. Oh, look at that. It is the pre-constructed Sapperling deck, which I modified. But as you can tell, since it's on the bottom, it's been so long since I modified it that it definitely does not have any of the relevant good cards I have now, which are apparently trash cards because I can't build or play decks, so. Alright. Let's go. Waiting. Waiting. So much waiting. I swear my queue times are the longest when I have the recording going. But, you know, that's, that's my bad for trying to keep people entertained. God damn, this video is a downer, isn't it? I mean, positivity, good things, sure. This, why do I keep this? This is terrible. It has such late game things, and why the hell is this in the deck? I mean, I know why it's there, and it's a rhetorical question. It, it does sapperling things, so it fits the theme of the deck at least. They don't even have a first turn play. Well... This still plays Foul Orchard, which it has a little dead dinosaur there. That's kind of cool. Maybe if our opponent's playing a dinosaur deck, we would care. They get to take our fungal infection from us. Which I'll just use. Because screw them, you know. We get, we get our token. They're not going to take that from us. What are you doing, Kite Sail Freebooter? What are you doing? Nothing. That's what you're doing. Um, let's go with the 2-2. That was definitely in the wrong play. I should have played the creature that they knew about. Versus the creature they didn't know about. Because they still know our hand now. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Oh. Oh, screw you, opponent. Maybe I should have gotten rid of Death Bloom. Oh, shoot. How are we doing on our... Um, wonder how we're doing on our uh, playing lands. This game is so far a failure. This is the one true failure today. Is the fact that um, we're not playing our lands. By the way, absolute clutch play, killing that Kite Sail Freebooter. Total pro move. Uh, only seen on my channel. All the other channels are trash. Just kidding, they're better than me, probably. Although some of them, I'm sure, have their down days. Um, we're going to hit them with everything we got. And then we'll sacrifice one of these to draw two cards. Hopefully one of them's land. There we go. And we'll end the turn. We have an Assassin's Trophy, which I must have manually put in because that does not come um, in the pre-con deck. Pre-con standing for pre-constructed, just in case you're not down with the lingo. Diggity dog. Opponent here is thinking about something. River's Rebuke. Huh. Okay. Well, you just killed all my tokens, which is a little annoying. Um, we get our out the Tendi. Tendi boy comes out here. Six. I'll be seven permanents once the Sapling revolve resolves. And if we draw another land, we'll be hitting City's Blessing next turn, assuming Tender Shoot does not die, which it probably does. 
probably gets cast down or freaking Neza Hall. Neza Hall, you say, huh? All right, I see you out there. I could Assassin's Trophy it, but I want to guarantee that I hit City's Blessing, which I could have guaranteed anyway, no problem. But I'm not in a rush to get rid of Neza Hall because if Neza Hall attacks, I have excellent blockers here to just destroy it. Now, what are we up to? We're waiting for the opponent. They're going to draw some cards because they feel insecure about their position. They realize, holy popsicles. Yes, that is what they realize. They are outnumbered. They are severely outnumbered. They had to sack their, their uh, mana engine. Um, hmm. I'll sack the uh, shepherd. That's fine by me. They can reoccur Nezahal from their hand if that's what they want. We're still going to try an Assassin's Trophy at next turn. There is a case to be made about Assassin Trophying it last turn, but ooh. The greed. The greed would be insane here. Maybe we don't even need to, Nez to, to bounce it. Maybe we just need a more three threes. Yes, it's exactly what we need. And we'll send over the army just like that. Five three threes, that's 15 damage. They can only block three of it. So that goes down to 12. This is lethal. I guess I'll give them a good game because I'm a cocky bastard. Hey, I see you over there. To be more respectful, I should have waited for their good game. I shouldn't just, like, rub it in their face, but... Interesting deck. I did not expect a Neza Hall out of a Demir deck, but then again, I was playing a pre-constructed Saproling deck, so... Who knows what? Um, speaking of Historic, I want to play my Historic Madness again. I really like that deck. It does a lot of fun things. I'm starting to feel better. Look at that. The end of the upload week. Uh, a whole freaking horn full of wine. Coming into this pre-sloshed and playing decks that I have zero expectations for. Makes me a happy camper. I am a happy camper. Look how happy I am. See that on the Karn's face there? That's, that's, that is literally, that is literally me. That is literally me. Opponent going first here. We'll keep our hand. It is fine. We will play out some cards and have a good time. We got our life gained engine. We don't have the treasure map, but you know what? You can't have everything in life. You really... Sorry about that. <laughs> you really can't have everything in life. Alright, cool. We'll play out the isolated chapel and it's their turn. We'll have a skilled animator next turn to pop our fountain into a 5-5. We have some sort of green white, green white elk, elf deck. Oh, that's an elf. Cool. Alright. Well, you're a jerk. You're officially a jerk. Hmm. Playing this doesn't really do anything other than get a 1-3 down, does it? If I wait until next turn, I can Ixlon Binding their ch Clan Caller here. Or I could play Karn. The nice thing about Binding the Clan Caller is they won't be able to search their library when they get 6 mana for more Clan Callers. But if I get out Karn- oh my god. Oh, that's a big no. That's a big no. We're just gonna murder that. By the way, we're getting the black mana from this. You can actually add the mana of any color regardless of if you're playing it on a multicolored creature spell. Kind of neat for the guild mages form that I found out exclusively through this deck because this deck plays 
a disgustingly wide mana base for a card that I have as a one of. Well, unfortunately, get they get the clan caller, but we can still prevent more from coming out in the future. If that's what we choose. What do we do with our fifth land? We don't do anything. We'll take this away, which takes away a total of a lot of attack damage, so that's good. But we're still going to be taking six, and we're facing some sort of... Okay. We're going to be taking nine this turn. Um... Shame on me for trying to play something fun. Uh, yeah. We'll just concede. I mean, it's no big deal. Like I said, zero expected. We just need to hit our land drops. We hit our land drops. Look at that. We succeeded in the video. If we go over here and go to packs and open up Ixlon in hopes of a Carnage Tyrant. Or a uh, Raska's Contempt. We'll see what we get. Let's see. We got Common uh, Wild. We got some stuff. And we got a Mythic Rare card. We got a Mythic Wild. Which honestly... Oh yeah, right. I want to save that for either Vivian Reed or Carnage Tyrant. So we're. I I'm actually going to save that. Um, I'm going to keep opening up packs of Ixalan in hopes that I open up either Carnage or a Vraska's Contempt so that way I don't have to use the Wilds on them, but, um, let's see, what, what do we want to play? What's Rampy Boys? I don't even remember this deck. I didn't look at it, I'm just going to play it. I'm just going to play Rampy Boys and see what happens. We have Khan here as our opponent, or Kahane. Um, our hand does things that isn't very good, and why is Gigantosaurus in this deck? You are five trees to cast, and I'm running basic islands. Um, sure, I'll keep it with the elf on top. Hopefully I'm on the draw. Yes, I am. All right, so we get to come out swinging with a Land of War Elves. Next turn, we'll be able to Growth Spiral. There we go. Hopefully we draw a land, we did not. And we'll just attack him for one because we're petty and we'll do stuff like that. Next turn, we can Jade Light, which will be pretty good. Should be able to hit our land drop next turn, regardless of... Uh, I don't know, stuff. Our opponent's thinking about something. They're gonna unmoor to ego us based off of one card. They're probably digging for carnage type. Oh, they're digging for lit. They're digging for f what? You're digging for land of war elves. Do you realize? Do you freaking realize what you just did? They're looking through our deck, which is why they're taking forever. They're going in through and they, they probably have another one in their hand. But why? Why would you ever waste your time digging for a freaking Lana War Elves with that? That's just... That's just embarrassing. I don't know why you would ever... <sighs> I mean, that's just... All right, here comes the second one, right? Yes. What are they going to name? What do they think is um, threatening? The Biogenetic Ooze? I run four of them in this deck, I'm pretty sure. If I have two in my hand, I'm probably running four. So they're probably going to name Biogenetic Ooze. They're going to rip the two out of my hand. Forget that I get to draw two cards. Yep, I get to draw two cards for them taking Biogenetic Ooze. I'm still going to Mirror Image Tender Shoot Dryad, which is actually the better choice. And look, I get a Carnage Tyrant now. 
Congratulations, opponent. You just played yourself. They're probably going to kill the Tender Shoot on their uh, turn here. So good on them and all, but I'm going to Carnage Tyrant, and then the next turn, I'm going to use Mirror Image to make another Carnage Tyrant, and that's pretty much going to be game. Because they have not played any creatures to threaten lethal blocks against Carnage Tyrant. And it looks like one of my weird meme Rampy Boys deck. Usually if one of my decks has a weird name like Rampy Boys or you like my burb, it's a meme deck. Are you kidding me? Like, did you open out this game with a freaking playset of Unmoored Ego in your hand? Are you... Tender Shoot. Congratulations! You just played yourself. My only Tender Shoot is on the board. You looked through... I, I know with how long you took. You looked through my deck. I only have one Tender Shoot. You are... You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be goddamn ashamed of yourself, opponent. There you go. Go ahead, seal away the Tender Shoot Dryad. I don't even care. You didn't have a seal away to begin with, so unless you top deck it, which I assume that you top deck that land, by the way, I might have. Oh my god. Okay. That's always a possibility, right? Well, you can't do anything about that. Next turn, I get another one because screw you. And then I get the Steel Leaf Champion. Yeah, so the opponent concedes there because they're potentially one of the worst players in all of existence. I'm just kidding. I, I, I'm I feeling kind of cocky. Because I'm feeling cocky, let's play the Memes and Dreams deck to seal out this video as I do not know when I will actually make the memes and dream deck into a video unless you request it simply because it hasn't been performing the way I want it to. Uh, we'll be able to watery grave siren storm tamer first turn second turn we'll probably hit the curious obsession we'll see. Ideally that's what we do. But they'll probably kill our creature, we'll see. White! I mean, we're probably gonna get away with it at least this turn. They probably think we're that weird Demir tempo that has um, surfaced recently. We are not, though. There, there, There is a Demir tempo that's out that's really cool, and I would like to build the deck, but it, it takes probably too many rares and mythics. All right, we'll opt. I don't need another chart the course that's uh, it's overkill. We are getting stuff with the things. We'll play out an island and we'll hit them for two. Take our draw. Probably shouldn't have played out the island, but that's no big deal. We'll draw two more with chart a course and we'll end the turn. So we have plenty of things here. Um to kill creatures with, we're just missing our main combo piece, which is the um, Kite Sail Freebooter, which turns things into a 0-1, and then we Fungal Infection it for the absolute embarrassment. Okay. Multicolored creatures, huh? Alright, I'm not afraid to play the Drowned Catacomb here. And we'll attack for the two and just see what we draw first before we make any other plays. We've got another dead weight. So we can go dead weight, dead weight, and then for the lulls we can just kill it. Yes, I literally just did that. And yeah, it was excessive, it was not needed. Could have played out the watery grave, but maybe they think I have dived down. Well, they probably know that I don't have dive down now. Um, that'll enter tapped. And then, sure, we'll play out the Plague Mare. Why not? Go ahead, opponent. It's your move. Your move, opponent. Nerd. The fungal Infection, absolutely uh, terrible. I, they would have killed their creature regardless. My turn. 
Cool. Well, it looks like we'll opt. We will opt this turn. I don't care about Dive Down at this point. Siren Storm Tamer. Sure, I'll play it. I will play it. Go ahead, opponent. It's your turn. They're probably going to attack with that, and I will uh, absolutely manhandle the Boris Challenger. I like their little deck they got going on here, though. It's cute little Boros deck. Um, sure. Sure. All right. What's what's the chance that they have more fungal infections, right? What's the chance? What's what's the chance? I don't know. Am I totally in a terrible position and I put myself there? Yeah, but do I care? No. I completed my goal today. My goal was to play 25 lands and I did so. And then I killed that thing instantly because I just don't care. I I give zero craps. We're going to attack. Do they take the trade? They're thinking about it. Yeah, they're really thinking about it. Yeah, you go down to 11. I have lethal in 11 turns. Slash MT. Yeah. Slash MT, you better be scared. My... My horn full of wine is becoming empty. Just like your life, to life total. Oh geez, that thing. That thing is a 6-5. Well, I'm going to pass turn here because... Wow. Watch them starve extinction the board. You can actually win games by doing that because when this is dealt damage, it, they can do it to me. Which means that they can star extinction their true fire captain and direct the 20 damage to me after it dies or whatever. So that's actually going to mentor the Tajik. And to preserve as much life as possible, I should block the Tajik and not the true fire captain. Because I'm a skilled Magic the Gathering player. And with that, I would like to thank you all. So much for watching this train wreck of a video, this train wreck of a week. I, well, I can't say it was a total train wreck. I, um, that is, that is nice, by the way. I like that. I like that a lot. This, is, this seems fitting to go out with how this week has gone. They get another attack step. Or they get a whole nother turn. And if they don't kill me this turn, they lose the game. So, with that said, it's been one hell of a week. Definitely check out the video in which my win condition is milling myself. That video was possibly one of the funnest to record in my Magic the Gathering series here. Uh, I really enjoyed it a lot. Thank you all again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed some of the decks I showed off. And once again, I'll go real slow. If there's any decks on this list you would like to see in a future video, I would be more than happy. But until then, I will see you on the flip side. Bye!